This issue of hepatitis A in at-risk populations really came to a head in the summer of 2017 in San Diego. Um, if anyone goes back and remembers or looks at the media time from that, there were hundreds and hundreds of cases of hepatitis A with a number of deaths as a result. Uh, you have to remember that hepatitis A is transmitted by the fecal oral route. So wherever there's lack of hygiene or lack of access to hygiene, then people are going to be in contact with unclean surfaces. And as soon as you put your hand in your mouth or eating uh, food that's contaminated, you can get hepatitis A. We have a large number of homeless individuals with the same uh, barriers to hygiene um, and the risk for hepatitis A infections. We have to recognize they are infectious diseases and uh, there's no wall to them around these individuals and the rest of the community. So when they get sick, it puts not only their communities at risk, but all communities in Seattle. One of the key things though is that we have hepatitis A vaccines um, that are extremely good and the issue is how do we get those vaccines to the people who are at risk. Many people who are homeless don't have access to primary care uh, or just don't make, uh, or don't have the ability to get to primary care for a number of barriers. Uh, but they often, many of them, end up in emergency departments because of other illnesses, because of trauma, because of violence. And these are great opportunities for us as a hospital to uh, provide maybe some of that primary care. And in this case, specifically the hepatitis A vaccine. The Harborview Emergency Department uh, has really taken it on as a mission for them to try to provide some of this care for our mission populations, in this case the homeless population in Seattle King County.